happy Sunday, my royals. It's Queen Angel 16, and today I'll be talking about eating disorders. It's kind of a personal subject for me, considering I had to go through some of these disorders in my life. Starting with anorexia. I'll start with the story. So, I guess it was my junior, senior year of high school, and uh, let's say shit hit the fan, and I was... I was just a mess. I was super sad. I would cry myself to sleep every night. Then sometimes I would try to fight back tears going through a whole day of school. And it was not good considering whenever I cried, I lost my appetite. I didn't want to eat anything. And then I looked at the mirror and was like, why, why am I so ugly? Why am I this? Why am I that? And at some point, I um had to go to the doctor. So now get your blood work done. And uh, the doctor said I would be close to I'm um, close to dying because I'm not getting enough nutrients in my body to survive off of. And he gave me medications for the depression, but I couldn't take them anymore because there were side effects. And then I was also diagnosed with anorexia, which I had to take vitamins and a bunch of other pills for. So I'm just gonna like that's my story. Take what you want with it. Let's go to the main basis of it now. Anorexia is when people decide not to eat, but exercise daily. So you can, you can, um, like, if some days you can go without food if you don't have enough of it. But the lazy people, you're not anorexic if you don't want to get out of bed and eat. That's because you're lazy. But if you get up daily, let's see on my computer. If you get up daily just to, like, go to the gym or do a workout in your living room or whatever, and you say, and you look in the mirror and say, look, I feel fat today. I should, not, I should go skip breakfast, skip lunch, skip dinner. How about I skip all my meals and keep exercising? Now, the people think, in a mirror, I'm fat. Like, I used to think that way, too, but not anymore. But... This is think, oh, I'm fat. I need to lose this fat. I'm so fat. What's wrong with me? Why am I so big? But in, like, if you go out in like a group of people and they see all these other people, it's like, oh my gosh, they're so skinny compared to me. I'm fat. But then they look like my pinky finger. They are so tiny. Like you can see their rib cage. You can see their their shoulder bones. Like sometimes you can't see your shoulder bones. Like, mine are very faint before, you can see big indents to what my shoulder bone is, so like you see a whole gap here with me, but now like they filled out, I don't have that problem anymore. But anorexia is a really dangerous thing, and <laughs> it can lead to a lot of problems. Like, when I had to give blood, it took them an hour and a half, close to two hours, just to get blood like two vials like this and then half vial like this and I could barely get any blood out of my veins like I drank plenty of water because I worked out most of the time but well it's not enough nutrients enough blood not enough blood would uh, form so like I actually went home with bruises on my arm that's how bad it was um yeah um, next is bulimia, and I personally don't know people with bulimia, but if you know someone who's bulimic, put that in the comments, tell them about their situation, and how they got through it, if they actually did get through it, but it's when you engorge yourself with food, and then after you engorge yourself with food, you go to a bathroom, your bathroom, personal bathroom, or like a community bathroom, or whatever, and you puke it all up. Which is twice as dangerous because it's not all food that's coming out of you. It's liquids coming out of you. Like, um, let's see. It's like acids from your stomach going through your esophagus and then out through your facial area. Not talking about your nose, not talking about your mouth, but, yeah. 
And that's also dangerous because acids actually are pretty bad for you. Like, stomach acids in your stomach are really powerful acids. And, then, and they can actually burn your esophagus. And trust me, you don't want that happening to you because when you, like, you try to eat again, it's going to hurt. It's really going to hurt. And same thing with being anorexic. It's going to hurt. I mean, eventually, your body's going to be like, I need to eat something. And they'll start eating at the fat in your stomach. You're like, oh, look, I'm finally getting skinnier. But it's really your body saying, we're breaking down. Eat something. Eventually, if you're like me, you're like, no, I, I really have to get better. Oh, God, lighting on my face is, is terrible. But, like, if you're like me, you've been like, Okay, I have to get better. I need to be able to get blood to doctors. I should not be having this much problem. So, I took the medications, and I got better. So, if you're like me like that, then good for you. But, it, it, it takes a process, you know? It really does. Like, it took me, I think, a year and a half just to gain weight. Because, once you start eating again, it's like your body is rejecting everything you eat. Like, they'll take liquids, so I could drink, like, milkshakes or water, and be fine. But if I were to eat a sandwich, I will be in the bathroom 15 minutes later. Not regurgitating it, but it coming out the other end. You know what I mean? And you actually drop more weight than I actually did before. And I had, like, a the up down thing going on. Like one day I was like ninety five pounds because when I finished high school I was like barely a hundred pounds, ninety five, and then I'll drop down to eighty five and back up to one ten, which was my highlight for me. But when I first hit the hundred, I was so happy, but I was still underweight. So like you're going through a balance thing. Let's not make a balance thing at all. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and. It's now my second year of college, and I'm my, my original weight. Well, it's supposed to be 130. Because that way, like, I, from going from 85 to 130 is a really big jump. But once you get there to your normal weight, you're like, wow, I did this. I am, I am strong. I do this. And now I'm eating again at a constant rate. Like, when I ate lunch, I didn't eat breakfast, but I did eat lunch. And I had two plates this time, not just half a plate, not even a quarter of a plate, it was two whole plates. Don't call me fat, but that's, that's like, the best thing that could happen to me. So, I don't have to take those vitamins anymore, I still take them when I skip breakfast, but I'm not going to skip like three meals a day just to contain my weight. And bulimia is dangerous. Like I said before, so don't do that, especially if you think you're fat. Because seriously, go to someone else. And if they smack you across the face saying you're not fat, you're not fat. Okay? If, the, if you are a little on the chunky side, and if someone calls you obese, smack them across the face. Because who says you have to be meeting standards of everyone else being the size zero or size one or zero to five for that matter. I'm like a size six now, so I'm not worried about those days, but what's uh, what's your point of view on eating disorders? I like talking about these kind of things. So if you like listening about them Tell me you like listening about them, and I'll talk about other things. I'll talk about bullying. I'll talk about chocolate. I'll talk about divorce. I don't know. I'll talk about anything you want me to. <laughs> Queen Angel out.